got a mic check there. Kind of a good intro, isn't it? It's kind of crazy. It's what it's been like the last uh, couple days. I feel like I've uh, been a little bit uh, kind of insane. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> I've now uh, been enlightened uh, as far as the XO drone Blackhawk. So fire away if you have questions today. But I've been able to calmly, rationally put together a really good video. I just, I just started to render it. It is super long. And it's long because it leaves out nothing. All of the details are in there. I actually flew again today. And today, I had to test out um, some firmware that updated. So I don't know if, I can, does that sound better? I have no idea what's gonna go on here. Yeah, let's keep that off. Uh, so I have no idea what's happening. Let's see here. Let's, let's, up, let's update that. Make sure we are streaming. Perfect. But um, yeah, so the Black Hawk 2. Now the Black Hawk 2, if I could remind you, is a mid-level high-end quadcopter by EXO, EXO drone. And a couple of people have interviewed Charlie Cannon, the CEO, the guy that's running the show over there. Uh, my question, the, you know, the validity and the, you know, the, what I would consider to be the purpose of EXO and what their goals are. And I think, I think we've learned a lot. And I think part of what's going to help them become better and, and to be quite honest, um, I do want their company to become better and be, comp and be competitive. So I just wanted to kind of start with that. And today what I'm just going to do is give you a taste of what I've learned and what I know. And actually at the very beginning of the video, if you watch, if you go back and you get a chance to go back, um, hey, who's grad, how you doing? But yes, I've flown this thing. I finally flown it. I'll probably repeat that a hundred times as our chat fills up. It is one o'clock on Thursday, so we'll see if we get a few people in. Hopefully everybody can hear me okay. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm just gonna do a quick test. Ah, it's pretty good, all right, so it's good there. Um, so here is just, to, you know, just for some validity, I'm trying to v validate my information. I've learned a lot, by the way. I've learned a ton. I've learned enough. And if somebody would come to me and go, hey, what are the strengths and weaknesses of the Exodrome Blackhawk 2? Um, I could give them what I would consider to be accurate information. And just to, yeah, so, so here it is right here. I have it uh, in my possession right there. And What's interesting enough is if you look at the Black Hawk 2, I just noticed this. If you look at its pose right now, it looks like it's flipping me off. And I think that is Charlie Cannon flipping me off right now. But, whoa, hold on. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely right, but I'm also not entirely wrong. So... Um, <laughs> nice Air One, <laughs> that's real geo. <laughs> Wait till you watch the video I put up. Please watch it. You can skip through it. It's a really long video. I documented every damn thing I could document. Uh, yes, it did. You did. I. And you got. You got to. You got to say that they're they're ballsy. I'm not keeping this. I'm sending it back to them. This is this is a this is a loner. It, but it came fresh out of the box. 
And there was nothing they did to this thing, uh, to be quite honest, to, to like, to like it as a demo unit. It was, it was brand new, ran out of the box. I had to load up the firmware. Um, I had to do all those things that you have to do with like a Xeno or whatever. Um, and yeah, so, so do not think I've been jaded or that, I've, that I'm being affected by it. It does affect you. I'm gonna be quite honest. When somebody gives you something and they go, hey, tell me what it is or what it's like, you, you in a way, I think, I think you do feel obligated to say good things. I'm, I'm gonna be very honest today. And I know Charlie's gonna be watching and he's gonna, so, and that's fine. I mean, I've been actually talking to him. I've been texting him on the phone because I want this thing to get better. And it is an Air One. It, it's a freaking Air One that's flipping me off right now. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's a very high-tech little bird. So let me just get, get it close. So a lot of people have not had a chance to see the Air One. I mean, the Exo Blackhawk <laughs> up close. But it is built really well. I, I am, there's, you cannot lie about that. I am going to be very honest um, about what, uh, what I see here. Um, I think the motor, uh, stators uh, are smaller. These seem to be smaller in diameter. Okay. I don't know if that's a, a, that affects its power consumption, the props to me. And I, one of the things that I noticed right away, and you're going to see this is, and you might want to go and do some comparisons. I wish I had a, an air one, an old air one. I, I actually had one, uh, up uh, about a year and a half ago. And I finally just sold it. I had five batteries and, but this has a much larger battery. So this, this is a, uh, uh, let's, let's see, let's, let's, let's give uh, this a, uh, this is a 3,800 ma, And I'm actually going to do some research right now. We're going to do some active research. Um, I did have, here, let me just do air, uh, Mavic Air 1. I just want to do, I want to see battery specs. Specs. Um, let's see, DJI Mavic Air production information. I just want, oh, battery, uh, 2970. Okay, so the battery that came in the original Air 1 is a 2970. This one is a 30, you see right there, it's a 3800, so it's much bigger. So this is a really good battery. And I'll tell you right now, one of the things that I can tell you 100% that is that this thing will fly for a good enough time. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to do that test because I don't need to. I, I, I did all these camera things with it, and um, I had a lot of time to make the adjustments I needed to make. To me, that is everything about why it's important to have a good battery. The second thing that I'm going to share with you right now, and, and Charlie Cannon was was very was very adamant about this. He was very offended, and I, I I can I can understand now. And one of the things that that he was um, was making claims, and that's and that's what he needs to do as a as the CEO of a company, is that he he claimed he claims that the camera is really good and that it doesn't have all these Jello things and. Uh, it doesn't have artifacts in it, and, I, and I'm going to agree. I've flown it, and I've done with it what I needed to do to validate, to validate its camera. And it's very deceptive. So if you look at the camera, I just want to see, I want you guys to see this thing up close, because most people don't have a chance to look at it up close. And <laughs> it looks like I'm holding a Mavic Air 1. I know I keep saying it. It's really hard not to <laughs> say it. But this is a better camera than the Air One. It's a little bit better, okay? Um, and the color science is really good. I think the Air One's uh, saturation was was a little bit like uh, it was a little bit over uh, over sharpened. Um, this one is not over sharpened. And I did not use it in log mode. I didn't need to. I took it out in some really good sky. I'll show you a couple of pictures of the sky. You need to see that, and I think, I think Dobo kind of did that. And I, I was pissed because, um, 
It's a knockoff. It definitely is, but it's different. It is different. It's a different camera, and that's the claim that Charlie was making. Uh, Charlie, Charlie wanted me to know, and what he was offended by, and I, I understand. I, I'm, I told him I would, if he would do this, I would review it, and you know we're, we're both from Utah, okay? Um, and I'm, I'm gonna, if I can, I have, if I can, in the next couple of weeks, probably when I get back from the fourth. I'm going to try to, I'm going to drop this off to him. I'm going to give it back to him. I do have a return, uh, I do have a return uh, tag for this, but I'm just going to drop it off. I'm going to give, I'm going to hand it to him and thank him for letting me review it, okay? Because it's not going to be any, it's not an easy review. These are things that are still, this thing is not doing, that's very Hudson-ish. And if you were asking, you know, does that, does a, you know, does a review that you get with, um, you know, with a product that is provided. I mean, I, I you, you got to tell me it's ballsy to, to provide a product and then go, man, this is it. This is what, this is what we're, you know, um, this. And then you got the Versace comments right there. You could have just taken that off. And this would, you know, I think the, I think, and the, I want to be very constructive. I love the Blackhawk big on this sucker. They need to make a logo that is equal to that, that goes along with Blackhawk. Branding is really important, and so is appearance. And I kept saying that. They're saying, well, appearance isn't, appearance is not, um, is not important as much. And I did my research, my market research. And yeah, market research says a lot of things. And I, and I, and I, he probably, you do have to go off for research, you know. But I'm going to tell them what what people that buy expensive drones want. Um, we want a good build, a good build quality. This is a really good build quality. Um, the plastic is, you know, is is really good, sturdy quality. This is, but I'll, I'm going to, I'm hub, Hubsonish. It is. No, it's not a Hubsonish. It is a hubs. It is Hubson. Hubson. Um, is not as dense as this. This is densely packed. There's a difference between, um, like the Hubson, the uh, you know the Zeno models. They were you know they did put a lot of electronics in them, but most of it was battery. When you take the battery out, that tells you a lot about the drone. So I'm going to take the battery out. And one of the things Dobo said was when I took the battery out, I'm like, whoa, wait a second. We still have, you know, a lot of the weight. I think I think a lot of the gram weight of this is the battery. This battery is freaking, it's a beefy battery. It's a 3,800 mAh battery compared to, once again, the 2970. Um, this is a really, really large battery. So, and that's another thing that, um, so anything you want to know about this, if you have a question, um, I, I think ask it today. I, I I'll be I'll be I'll be glad to ask it now. There's a couple of things that I want that I'm not going to talk about when it comes to some of its issues, and you're going to have to go to the video for that. And if you want to skip through my video, that's fine. But you will learn something from my video. You will learn. I did a very good job at describing the things about this drone that it that needed to be dealt with. So. But it is a very if if you if you bought this thing you know and and you brought it home and you started flying it, as a consumer. Um, if you've never flown other drones and this is your first purchase, you're going to be really happy. I mean, you're going to go and you're going to yeah, you know this is. But if the problem is is people like me. I've flown, every really good drone that you can really fly within my price range, within my ability to purchase it. And I, I have a different level of what I consider to be like quality, a different level of what is considered to be good. And just because you get a random survey of people and that random survey says um, sound is not important to the drone, <laughs> I make it a very good, a very big point in my video. You will hear and will experience that part of it. And I did talk about that. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to give away my entire video because I think it's important uh, for you guys to, to, to be able to skip through it and go back and forth and then, and look at some of the things uh, in, that I consider to be 
pertinent or important. But this is a very good build. This is, they did not just go, you know, screw it, <laughs> because they had they had a good they had a good reference tool. <laughs> um, but if you, I don't know if you remember the other drone. Let's just gonna say that. Now, if you see how these fold here, in the other one, the props are. I think you get the same prop surface, but they, the, the, remember the props have to, I think it's high low, they high low the props so you can, so they can fold together. So I think one of my first impressions was that, uh, that the props seem to be smaller. Um, that's, and, and, and and these are def these are and these are Hubson props. These are that's the same design. They have in all their prop uh, manufacturing. So, but there's a lot. Like I said, labels are good. You know, besides the you know un you know besides the B Versace gold tone. You know the I'd say the Caesar's Palace look going on. Um, just take that off. Just make it black. Black Hawk. N nice big bold letters. Black Hawk. Make it make it look like you like you mean it. Maybe emboss it in there, you know, maybe like raised letters or something. But get rid of all the other stuff. Just make it plain. Just, you know. But uh, the two rear sensors lo located right there. I really didn't get a lot of sensor feedback. And I don't know if that bothered me. Um, it did take off and land in my hand. I got it to do that. So there's a couple of things like that. But... Um, just a lot of a lot of interesting. It's a, uh, it says also tilted horizon was an issue and noticed that. Check out the video. I'm just going to tell you right now. Hey, 808, thank you. He's got the 808, uh, the 808 donation. Appreciate it. But um, check it out. The proof is in the video. And I guess I guess I'll, I can give this away. I never one time adjusted the horizon. I'm just going to say that right now. Never one time adjusted the horizon on this drone. And I've heard a lot about the horizon tilt. I did do two firmware updates. I did a firmware update. Um, here, I'm going to put his finger back up. This is the Hubson drone giving me the finger. Or Charlie Cannon giving me the finger going, my, my drone can take pictures. And yes, it can. So... <laughs> Don't you love autocorrect? But uh, thank you so much. I think I appreciate it, 808. Uh, I hope you're I hope you're doing well. Uh, I haven't seen you around, and I know you're uh, you're hot. Uh, you have a lot. People have things to do, you know, other than this. But uh, but that's the Blackhawk too. We're talking a little bit of Blackhawk too. Um, I'm going to um, I'm going to show you a little bit of stuff from it. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to find some, I'm going to do some screen grabs out of here. I did get some good directional, uh, directional, you know, screen, screen, screen grabs. Uh, so, and I did do some 48 megapixel photos. So I did have the camera set up in HD and I was taking the high definition pictures. Now I didn't do any, what I would consider to be like hardcore editing, I guess that's where we can start first. Uh, I remember it, we have to we have to look at everything in 1080p. Um, but I thought this was a really good image. Just, uh, the sky it it doesn't. I don't think this the way I edit it does it justice. But let's uh, let's look at a let's look at an image here. Um, here we go. So this is remember I told you this thing can take pictures. That's for sure. So let's go here. This is a uh, this is a a uh, a an image that I added um, definitely some saturation to. Um, now, it looks blown out in the background, which it kind of is, but the real picture is not blown out as much. Um, I had a lot of, I, I, I couldn't find the zebra adjustment, the exposure adjustment to see how far it was getting blown out. So it's really hard when you're in the field, when you're looking at your camera and uh, on your phone, and then you're trying to determine whether this, it's blown out or not. So I kept tapping uh, the uh, the exposure on the dirt to try to get it to not 
uh, uh, overexposed. But the sky is very, it is more dynamic and it was hazy. Uh, we had a really cloudy day. So yeah, thanks, uh, thanks Sunrise. I do pride myself in photography of this area and I love the contrast. Now, if you look out, and one of the things I was saying that is that I question, I, I question the jello and the thing, I didn't get any jello. And I'm not, I'm not making this stuff up for the benefit of Charlie Cannon and Exo drones. I'm doing it because that's what it did. Um, I, I, I told him, if you, if you, I, I want to fly it, but I do, don't give it to me. I want to give it back, okay? So I don't want you to own me. <laughs> uh, and if you take gifts from people and you receive those gifts and you keep them permanently, it becomes a permanent etch on your, on your soul. And I think for Charlie Cannon and Exo Drones to get better, I think for camera wise, they are on a really good path. This is way better than the Hubson photo, photos and, and imagery I got earlier with the, uh, with the Xeno sensor. This is really good stuff. So, and, and, and let's see, uh, drones just work, uh, DJI drones just work, but I, I'm not just, guys, I am a fanboy of DJI. You guys know that. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm also an Autel fanboy. Um, their cameras are kick, they're killer. I, I actually got a, I actually had somebody send me a, uh, uh, basically send me a, uh, uh, make it, uh, you know, make a comment. And they asked me a question about, should I go buy the Evo 2 Pro right now? The old Evo 2 with the Pro 6K camera. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> if you got a, if you, is that a real question? <laughs> so um, I, I'm like, I, I you know, just put a little music in the background. I kind of like that. I was listening to a live stream out this weekend. That in the background. This is rock, so my rock channel. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I, I, so anyway, yeah, so anyway, to get back to it, cons uh, considering that the EXO came from hubs and the drones that are produced are now much better than, yeah, I, I, I think there is an improvement. Now, the, there is an improvement in, in one area, in the camera area, but in some of the other areas of the drone, I'm just going to tell you right now, there's a lot of work to, to be done. And, and, and what I, and I make this, I make these, I make these statements because there are things that really are frustrating to me in the process. So I just want you to know that, that I do have things that are very critical that I have to say because it's the truth and I'm not, and I, I, I do want to fly another EXO product. Um, I, I want to fly the Mini, uh, but they're, you know, and I, hopefully I can maybe do an exchange. Maybe I'll exchange this and you'll, I'll go and I'll do some reviews on the Mini. I'm really interested in the mini. I just don't, I didn't want to fly the Hubson product because I didn't like it. I didn't like, I didn't like that the grate came off and when the grate did come off on the bottom, it went over weight, it went over 250 grams. And I do believe, I do think that the 250 gram thing, yeah, it's, it's overblown. Get your 107, um, but kids can't do that. And we do need a 250 gram class. And if you put this camera on a good flying platform with a better control system, You've got an Autel, you've got an Autel bird. But Autel's already got the camera system knocked out of the park. So here, let me just read through, through some of the comments. Because I, I hope you appreciate this. Remember, this was, I'm not going to lie. I, 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 um, I, had to, I had to harass XO to get this. And, you know, sometimes it's, I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit guilty, like I extorted this from them. And that wasn't my goal. I was just making comments that were um, that were based on views that I, I you know, uh, reviews that I saw. It's like six or seven reviews. I've even seen some since this, but I, I I don't I'm not looking at what the other reviewers are saying because I have I have my own view, and I'm I'm going to tell you right now I didn't I didn't fudge any of the setup. The setup the setup in my video that I that I do took a long time. I actually had to change, I, I timed it out. Okay, from the time that I said, okay, I'm gonna 
put this thing in the air, to the time I got the camera set up, to the time I'm actually flying it and actually filming. Um, and then I have to do all the other things. Like today, I had to do two compass calibrations. Well, not today, two, but I did. I did one. I have, you have to calibrate this thing for every flight. I don't have to do that with other drones, okay? So, uh, skills to the max. Uh, Birds I own, Phantom 3 Pro, Phantom 4 Pro, V2 Old Mini 3 Pro. I all love, yeah, you love them because they're freaking awesome. So, um, uh, skills to the max. Yeah, can, let me, let me, uh, I want to, I want to uh, moderate you. So just give me a second here. That's why I'm reaching over here. I got to reach over this other computer. But um, yeah, and, and if, if, if you're, um, hold on here, did I, did I just moderate that? Yeah, if you're in a, <laughs> so if, if you're, um, uh, if, if, if you're interested in uh, going back to some of the old birds, like say you wanna buy an Aero One, just make sure that, this is a better camera than the Air One. I'm just gonna tell you, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get a good camera, but you could get the same. I, I did a side by side with the Mini, uh, with the Mini uh, Two and the Air One, and it's about the same camera experience. This is a better camera, I believe. Um, I, I this is comparable to what the the Mavic Three, but I have not flown the Mavic Three camera yet, so I cannot say that. I'm not gonna make that claim. So. Um, so, all right, core power. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some core power at myself today. It's my, this is my meal. Uh, semi love to Kai, yeah, Kai, uh, Kai is actually going, he's gotta go through another procedure again, so, um, I will. Uh, we can send it to him in German, too. But Kai is working his tail off in the middle of a move. Uh, moving his fish tank, he lost one of his fish, one of his angel fish. I got to see all the fish in their quarry before he moved the tank, and I, so I did get to pay homage to the fish in question that is now deceased. So, so this is one of the images. I just want to, I just want to pick and choose my images here, real, real closely, real carefully here. Let's see, there's that one. So these are 48 megapixel images. Just to give you, a, just, to, just to show you that, let me go back to my, let me go back to my, uh, my capture. And you, you can tell it's a 48 megapixel image because of the, hold on here, because of the, here, let me make this smaller down here. That's just so I can adjust the sound and stuff. But you see how, how much, how much uh, uh, image, how my, how, how, many, how much of an image that I get with 48 megapixels. And the sky dynamics in my, in, in my high definition um, screen versus that are, are very different. It, it looks way more blown out with what you're seeing here. There is, there is very good sky dynamics in this photograph I'm looking at over here. And it's a, it's a hazy day. It, it, it didn't, the sun didn't come through. It's a very, very, it was a very, uh, very hazy, very filtered light day. So I'm like, this is a great day to go out and do some filming. It's hard. It's hard to film in this environment. I like it when there's clouds and sun. You know, we got that, and then you throw in an ND filter, and then you get those really dark, deep tones. I do not have an ND for this. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna fly with the, uh, the Optel Mini, I'm gonna keep it for a while. That's, I, I got a good deal on it. I'm gonna fly the crap out of it. I'm gonna probably bring that uh, Autel Mini, assuming I don't get my DJI Mini, uh, to uh, the lake uh, for the 4th. So I think I'll be flying Autel this year for the first time on the 4th. Uh, last couple of years I've been flying DJI. I think my first 4th I flew uh, Parrot. So Drone Obsessed Jerry, hey, how you doing? Why do I not have Drone Obsessed Jerry as a moderator? Thank you so much. Probably because Drone Obsessed Jerry is showing up uh, for the first time, which is uh, he's very welcome to do. Thank you. So... So that is a, uh, that is a, 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 a and now I didn't do any HDR images. This is my own color grade work. Okay, so this was not done by, by the, 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 the drone software at all. This was a, a regular 48 megapixel, not any, because you can't film, you can't take an HDR photo in, with this drone. 
um, in 48 megapixel, you have to put it down, which is good. So, yeah. So hopefully, hopefully this information is helping you. But I, I looked today for at the prices uh, for um, for this for the Blackhawk two, and it was nine ninety nine on Amazon. So thousand um, dollars, and it puts the it puts it in the tasty range of should I buy the Autel, you know, the Autel product, the Autel Light, because the Autel Light with the six K camera. I probably will put it in the same category as the Air, the Air 2S, but in a way the camera is a little bit better. I, I and I think, I think 808. What do you think, 808? Is the Autel Lights camera better than the Air 2S camera from perspective of photography and your experience? Um, I really trust 808 because 808 knows his crap. Okay, especially about the Autel uh, drones. Um, here, let me go and grab a comparable. And I do, uh, I have my trusty, I have my trusty DJI bag right here. <laughs> I love that. I, it was like, it was less than 20 bucks. So I'm like, I'm gonna buy the DJI bag. The drone, isn't that, isn't that an irony? Isn't that ironic that if you buy the DJI bag, it costs less than the Autel bag? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. But um, when you hold this controller, this is the Autel Mini, it's not even in the same ballpark as the Hubson controller. This thing freaking is awesome. This, I like holding this controller. It does record your voice too. So in the stock footage that you do, it, there's a voice track over it of you talking. And you don't need a mic or anything. You can just talk over your video. It's cool. I've never, I've never done a video on it, but it's freaking cool. Um, so here's your, here's your comparable. And it's, this is not, this is not the same. This is a mini class. This is not a, this is not a, uh, a mid class. Okay. This is not the, the light class, but look at the, look at how far the, the arms stretch here. I'm going to put this up. I'm gonna put this up on my on my NDI uh, capture here. So, look at how far the arms stretch out on this mini. Okay, now that and then let's look at the props. Let's look at the props. I'm gonna put the props up right next to the. This is the this is the Autel mini. Next, to, look at that. It's the same. It's it's. Freaking, it's the same size. This mini has the same size props as the Black Hawk 2. <laughs> did you did anybody even think that that would be possible? This is a mini class. This is now let's let's I can go ahead and let's stretch it out a little bit. Let's do a little more scientific view here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing out. I'm going to I'm going to hold them next to each other not disrupt the power of the this the strength of the force here. But are you looking at like a 3 and a half or like a 5 and a 4 and a half maybe? That's pretty damn close. This is a mini. This thing's underpropped. The arms need to extend out a little bit further. I, I think that was the problem with the original air. That's what happens when you use a um, a, a, a platform that's already been done. Um, you don't you don't make it better. You're not you're not fixing its failings. It, the only things that made it not as good. But um, travel wise, this is heavy. This thing weighs nothing. The controller and one ba and two batteries in this thing are basically are basically nothing they don't weigh anything um so i just thought it'd be interesting to put them up against each other the the little mini birds are getting i don't have well guys if i had the mavic if i had the three if i had the mavic three i'm still waiting for my order to we can go through I'm, I'm gonna get it after the fourth i know it that's when it's gonna finally be shipped but um but the build quality here is much more compact and it's you know, so what are you gaining from here to here? And and that's that's the question that a lot of drone flyers are going to ask. 
is if I can get film and video quality of the same nature, I haven't been up to the lake with this, by the way. I haven't been, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go to the lake uh, to the fourth. But I'm gonna take this camera and and I, I'm just like, yeah, so, so this is, this is, this camera's a one point, uh, 1.28 and that's a 1.13. So this one's a little bit, uh, this one's a little bit more sense, more sensitive as far as, uh, uh, as far as video is concerned. So, oh no, that's not, oh my, it almost went down. That would have been bad, huh? I don't like anything jarring. Okay, you can see that I took care of it. I almost jumped underneath it. <laughs> so anyway, I thought that would be kind of interesting to, to kind of put them, put the, um, the two quads in the same, you know, in the same vicinity, even though they're not comparable. Now, if I brought, if I brought the Air, if I brought the Air 2S, if I put the Air 2S next to this one, the Air 2S would have very, very much larger props, uh, the way it would be less uh, the battery though it doesn't have the same I don't uh, this battery I think flies uh, a little bit further it has a little bit more longevity but if you could reduce the weight of this bring the arms out better props and use that same battery I'm telling you uh, you're gonna have a 40 minute bird there okay this is 30 minutes at best probably 28 but I can get a lot done at 28 plus I can I can kill this thing. I mean, it's got all the sensors and weighs nothing. But uh, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just proving. I'm just, I'm just making a, you know, making a, uh, making a point that you know you get a lot for. Um, and now to get this drone here, this is nine hundred dollars, nine ninety nine with two batteries, as is. This one with two batteries. Um, is I, I added an extra $60 battery. So my cost was, I had 700, I had 10% off until 765. It's about 765, a little bit more. So 765 for the mini platform, 999 for the big heavy platform. But both of them are gonna give you good pictures and good video, so. You know, it's it's you're it's now you're now you're comparing apples to oranges. <laughs> uh, well, okay, I got to go back in the stream there. Uh, did uh, is 808? Did 808 uh, make a comment on that? Let's see. Uh, I'm looking back. He probably he's, he probably just popped in. Um, and my question was, if you know, if if you were a kid and you were gonna buy like a, a comparable. Um, a, a, yeah, well, the Air 2 would be a better comparison, but if I put the Air 2 next to it, it's, they're not, I'm sorry, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it publicly about how the Air 2 would stack up against this. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say it. Okay. You guys can judge for yourself. <laughs> um, I, I, I flew my Air 2S through a foliated freaking covered environment <laughs> um, with the camera rolling, man. And it found its way through it. I ne I've never hit a tree with the Air 2S. I mean, obviously I could easily do it. You hit it sideways. I could run into some some brush or something. But uh, and, uh, I've uh, bypass mode in Air 2S is pretty damn good. I have not tr tried the bypass mode with this. I've only flown two full batteries plus a, a middle. Uh, I did another uh, uh, flight. So I did one today. That was a pretty good distance flight. So I did bring this thing out to a place that you are familiar with. And I have not posted that. I don't know when I'm gonna get that video up. Um, but, you know, like I said, I, I, it's, it, you have to. I mean, we buy drones because we're consumers. I love how my cameras are working. Guys, I got my iPhone set up for my NDI camera. I should, like I said, I should make the iPhone the main camera. It's freaking killer. But, uh, but uh, here, one of the comments, sorry, here's another comment that I made. 
All right. All right. If I'm going to stick a a fifteen hundred dollar phone in my drone, that's how that's how you have to make the the, the phone holder. Okay. I'm just telling you right now, you have to beef the freaking thing up. Okay. This thing is solid. My phone will freaking will will be sturdy in that thing. That's not a hard thing to do to make a better phone holder. Um, antenna wise, this thing freaking knocks it out of the park. I had somebody complain to me in a in a vi my video didn't go far enough. They said, Dad, random, you should have flown the uh, Autel. Uh, uh, mini nano, I I'll tell nano mini whatever. I, I can't keep the name straight. You should have flown it further. You had you had battery you had battery to spare. I'm like no, because that's not how you fly it, and I'm not going to fly it, unlike how you're supposed to fly it. So if I, I'm not going to go out, like, I did the same thing. I did the th same thing with the Blackhawk. Okay, so I'm just going to bring the Blackhawk back out here. I did the same thing with the Blackhawk. I flew it with, to power reserve, and then it tells you, hey, you got, you know, you got to come back, which I thought was very conservative. Um, and, but on the other hand, coming back was absolutely a nightmare. I'm just going to tell you. So, watch the video. I'm just going to tell you. So, uh, Sam. But um, in, in one of the comments I make, so there's, there's that control. I'm just look now. This these guys decided, hey, we're gonna make a better controller. We're gonna make a, a new controller. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna create a new design. It takes balls to do that. Okay. All right, Kate, you're watching me, aren't you, Charlie? And your engineers at Hubson. All right, first of all, we gotta do something about that. I think that's the, the control issue that we're having. This USB has been a problem, and it's been a problem for a long time. It's where we grab the drone, we're touching it all the time, and it's going to affect the way this thing, um, that we probably can get disconnects that way. Gotta fix that. That cannot be that way. I know the first ba Mavic uh, controllers had that, and they didn't have much trouble, but maybe build it in. So. You know, you've got to, you can use the body of the, of the USB, of the OTG cable. Okay, let's get back to the, the point I was going to make. Okay, phone holder. Okay, phone holder. I, I got a $1,500 iPhone that has to go in there. $1,500. It can't do this. Okay, so... But this is the original. Okay, on the other hand, they put a better battery in this thing. Okay? If you look at it right now, that's after two flights. I haven't charged it up. Okay, that's after two flights right there. So they must have upped the maw uh, of the 18650s that are probably in here. It might be, it might be the it might be the bigger version of the, that that's in here. Um, I'll have to look and see what the what the, the voltage is. Um, I don't know if I can see that in here small if I can make it put it up here maybe I can read it on my screen try to get it see this is uh, this, uh, let's see if I can get the iPhone to focus come on iPhone got to get the sensor to to find it I can't see that it's so small Anyway, I'm wasting time by looking for it. But um, yeah, the batteries in here is pretty good. Uh, it definitely feels heavier. It's definitely more hefty than the controller um, that I had for the Hubsons. So, but uh, but the, they're the same antennas, same control links, um, and going out. Okay, let's just. I'm just gonna tell you right now, going out to where I was flying to. I didn't have any noticeable problems. Once I turned around and came back, different story. Watch the video. Okay. So, I don't think you have to make a better mousetrap 
You just have to mount, you, uh, you don't have to redesign the mousetrap as long as the mousetrap's working, but you do have to make sure that the mousetrap catches mice, okay? So mousetrap has to fly the drone. Um, but um, you, you can use, you know, an older, an older, you know, controller platform. Okay, so, and you got the, you know, the sticks hiding in there and all those things, so. Anyway, good, like I said, I appreciate the fact that I, I have this in my hand to talk about, so. But um, we're telling the truth today. We're not making stuff up. Um, on the way out, it was good. On the way back, I wasn't so good. And I was really trying hard not to disrupt the USB, and I did do the firmware update this morning. Okay, I had the same problems. Um, and it's scary because I was out a significant distance and I was worried about getting back because it was flying so slow. Um, I almost had to hit the return to home, but I don't like to do that because I can fly faster, better if I just go straight home. So um, other than that, I got some great video. You'll see some just beautiful scenery, great photographs. I did take some photographs and I did do a bunch of really good height HD video. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead, but uh, let's get this let's get this thing ironed out. Okay, I I am a huge fan. If you want to copy somebody, copy what 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 Femi's doing. I like the phone in the middle. I like the gimbals on the outside, phone in the middle. Phone's in there nice and snug. You know. There's, there's something to be said about copying a design that, you know, it's different, but it's pretty damn good. Um, but the control function, there's something going on in here. And I'm just going to tell you right now, I had, a, I had a game pad that I built my own FPV system with. And that was the, remember, I don't know if you remember back when I first started my channel and I had a Dan Drone Worship helping me out and we were, we were flying uh, with the repeaters. I flew a repeater, I made my own damn controller, I flew a repeater system two miles there and back without any, without any breakup. I had video, I had video link and it had two panel antennas. And, you know, one of the things that they're doing to make this, con this controller better is they're adding the four hawks, pan the panel. Build a controller with a freaking built-in panel. You know, directional, and then throw on some, you know, do a diversity setup. Make it work close and far out, you know? So, all right. But, uh, so anyway, so anyway, uh, hey, Drone Worship is on there. Holy crap, Dan, I didn't even know you were on my stream. And I just gave, Dan, I just gave you a, a freaking, the biggest compliment that you could ever get. So, um, and I don't forget those things. I don't forget, you know, I know you're a lover of Hubson, <laughs> but this thing can go far. This thing, you know, has a, has, has a, has a, uh, has a chance. And I want to see if we can get, get a chance. You know, they, I mean, and now, you know, whether these American kids can, and your kids, when you're 24, your kids still to me, if they can, if they can get this XO better without, you know, the engineers, uh, you know, thinking they know better than what the American consumer wants. Um, so, but that is the Blackhawk. Uh, the Blackhawk 2 is a good looking bird. Take the Versace off of it, you know. Love that big old gold Blackhawk on there. You know, I don't know if you wanna go Indian or you wanna go Blackhawk helicopter and it's all the same thing. It basically was done but this for the same name. I'm surprised they didn't rename the Blackhawk helicopter the um, indigenous person helicopter. But um, but but you know you know be I like that bold lettering right there. Just put that on there. So but hey Mike, how you doing? Got Lone Star in the house. Had drone worship popping in. Um so anyway, we've got uh, we've got the Blackhawk in the house. I'm just gonna leave it there for the remainder of the stream. I'm gonna take the this orange thing right here. You gotta love it. Freaking colors are freaking 
I, lo I love it when they say, hey, we're going to make this safety orange. I'm just going to blow out the doors with this thing. Like it. Like it a lot. All right. I'm going to put this thing out of the out of frame. I'm still here. What? That's enough. That's enough being out of the, out of frame there. But um, I don't know how long we've been on. We've been on uh, 52. We've been on almost an hour. So uh, let's look at some more footage. All right, let's look at some more footage. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our NDI off and we're gonna get some display on. Uh, let's go. So let's see if we can find something else. Um, this one is not. Uh, I don't think this one's color adjusted. Is that the same image? Hey, look at that guy. So, so that's the environment I'm flying in. Um, I don't. Let me go to. Let me go to this sh shot right here. I think this is very helpful. Um, this has got. This one goes shoots down into the water. So, if you live in Florida, and you want to wow people with a good shot, a good a good image, take a picture down into the water where you know you get like the black murky stuff, but then you'll either get a reflection off of it or you'll see what's in the bottom. And look at that. My computer's making some funky noises. I'm gonna stop that. Wow, it was grinding away. <laughs> Oh my God, I had to turn that off. That picture almost broke my computer. Look at that picture, holy crap. That was some, uh, that was some luck, huh? The screen, screen capture right there. Um, I don't know why I did that here. Let me just see if I can, see if I can get that back going. I might, maybe I just got too much stuff going on. That's a, that is a very big image. Um, so let's go let's go back there and then I'll go back and see if I can load that back up. I just want to get one more sample for you guys before I, before I close out the show. All right there. Oh, maybe I have too too many things going on. So there's there we go. So that I didn't that's a video um, okay, here's a here's a uh, here's a here's some moving footage, but this is uh, that's not that's only 360. Ugh. I've got stuff that's still rendering, and that's the problem. So this is the one I wanted to show you. So this is here. I'm gonna I'm going back, and let me just turn the let me just turn it down to 1080 because that's really what my my monitor can do. There now now the computer's not freaking out. All right, so I turn that uh, NDI source off. So um, this is a this is basically. Um, uh, actually a fun part of the video that I did, but this is moving, this is a moving image, but I was trying to do, I was trying to zoom in and as I was zooming, you can see my exposure was changing, but look, you can see in the water, that's a really good image. But when I was trying, this is now, this is a video sample, video chop, but you see this right here, there's, that there's a cool, there's a funny story that's coming on that. So, so anyway. But um, I think that's it. I think I just I just wanted to, to touch base with you guys. Um, there's a lot more to be said about the about the Blackhawk. Um, I I do want um, I do want to to be um, to be cordial because let me find uh, here's some more images. Oh, here we go. Here's some images here that are not color graded. Here here's here's one right there. That's a good one right there. This one has no color grade on it. So I was looking for those. And that's, that is a flatter image. I and you can see the dynamics in the sky. See those right there? So sometimes when you, when you add too much saturation, you'll get that right there. Orange is the new black, it is. There's that other image right there. These are the 48 megapixels. There's that image again. Um, Took a lot of that. There's an image going that direction. That's Jack. That's called Jackson Peak out there, a flat top mountain. Um, 
and there's a there's the area I was flying right there. There's the you see the the uh, big uh, lava, uh, big lava um, formation right there. And I love this. I love the seclusion of flying like or flying when there's nobody bugging me right there at the park. But all right. But for Dad Random, for Dad Random, let's go back and uh, debrief. Um, so what, you know, you know, what, what, are you, what are you gonna do? So what, what, you know, what did I learn? I learned a lot and, and a couple of things I've already shared with you. I shared a little bit about, you know, some of the controller idiosyncrasies. Um, but you're gonna have to get out there and just check out the video, watch my experience. Um, and I think, I think that to be, to, to be fair and honest, I, you can see that the video is superb. Um, but on the other hand, this thing has some work to be done and there's some, there some work to be done on it. And it's important that, that um, you price, you price, you know, you price compare, because this will come, you know, if, you know, if you're gonna spend a thousand bucks, it's gonna cost you more for the Autel light for the same photographs. And you'd have to probably go down into the mini class where this one can probably fly in more wind, definitely can fly in more wind than the, than the minis. But, um, you know, you've got to contend with more weather issues and you're gonna to have to pick days that aren't so windy and those kinds of things. And, you know, this one stays, hangs pretty solid. That's, you know, when you, when you look at beefiness, beefiness can be an advantage. So, you know, when you, when you, when you, when you look at the beefiness of a drone uh, and heftiness, mass does matter, especially when it's sitting in a gust of wind. This one is not going to be susceptible to gusty movements where the minis will move all over hell and the props will be fighting. Um, this one's not going to have to work as hard. So that's some, uh, some, uh, let me put this back down so we don't have to, have to worry about it falling over. But uh, all right, that's dad random today. Um, we're finishing up here. Um, and all I can say today is Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you're, you've gotten a little bit of a, of a, a little better perspective of what this bird can give you. So, Ooh. got some feedback going on there. But for Dad Random, thank you so much. Um, ask me questions in the, in the comment section, or if you want to leave something, please do. Uh, thank you so much. Please leave a thumbs up if you have not. Uh, uh, hopefully, uh, I was fair and balanced in my approach today. Um, should you buy this? I think it's up to you. I think, you know, when you, if you want good pictures, you want to get good pictures. I've got plenty of videos. I've got a video coming up. I've got two videos coming up. A camera bird that takes great pictures, for the great picture, picture. Uh, really good, good uh, video quality, um, better than a lot of drone you know, in the in the uh, in other classes uh, within the toy grade. There's just nothing that's really good right now. This is definitely not a toy grade camera, so I can say that. Man, I can say that to be honest. Well, it's not a toy grade camera, um, but. To, the control, the control, um, the control system is uh, is something I need you to check out. So, uh, did I see some horizon tilt? Uh, everybody wants to play horizon. Go look at the videos. I I don't I didn't really see horizon tilt. I didn't really re recognize it or notice it. Maybe you will. Um, that's one statement. That's one thing I do talk about in the video. So, alrighty, I'm out of here. It's been. It's been an hour, and I'm on, and it's time to move on. But the Exodrome. So, did I learn something? Yes, I did. And please, if you do have questions, you can comment. And I'm out of here. Bye. I'm just repeating myself. Thank you, uh, Bob Casey, Mike Kenrick, for popping in. Uh, always uh, Lone Star. Hope you're feeling good today. Better. Um, thank you, Drone Worship, for popping in. Uh, it was nice to have you in. Um, 
Uh, he's been doing lots of uh, repair and bike work. He flies FPV. Um, he's basically maybe one of the reasons why I'm still doing this today. Gave me a lot of good pointers, a lot of good information about uh, um, being a little edgy sometimes, and sometimes you got to pull back from the edginess. Um, but Black Hawk Down, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm thinking about naming this drone Crazy Horse. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll call it Crazy Horse. <laughs> but uh, B Max Ariel, thank you for popping in. Drone Obsessed Jerry, thank you so much. Akarisho, of course. Uh, I'm still waiting for my extra, my. Uh, my M30. Uh, you, I, you told me you're going to buy me an M30 for my birthday and for and for Father's Day. I have not seen my M30T yet. Um, let me tell you, something, if I had an M, if I had an M30, I'd, I'd probably not need a wife. Um, let's see. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Isaiah Sigai, how did I start my own radio? How do I start my own radio station? Uh, right. I don't know. You should probably. Uh, um, you can live stream radio but you gotta you gotta pay for the music so you're gonna have to own your music source so you'll probably have to so isaiah if you're still around um you're going to have to take uh something like uh, epidemic sound uh art list and you're gonna have to make more money and that costing you monthly then you're going to cost in live streaming costs and you're gonna have to be a dj 24 7 and have playlists that run and uh that kind of stuff so that's all I can say. You can do a radio station, and you could actually have other DJs uh, that sit in for you, uh, get some great graphics and all kinds of stuff like that. Here, I'm not going to I'm not going to moderate you. That's a different type of question. It's not a drone question. But um, alrighty, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. I am out of here. Thank you. Bye.